Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to try some delicious treats from Low Carb Oven. We're about to get our happy on right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it yeah I am so excited today <laughs> because not only are we about to taste some tasty treats hopefully super tasty treats right but if they are magically delicious this is local yes so we got an Instagram actually from this company low carb oven last week and they were like, hey, can we send you some cakes? And I'm like, um, yeah. Yes. Please. And we're like, okay, awesome. And they got delivered and they asked me if we got them delivered. And we're like, yep, we're going to try a video. And um, they said, we'll take a look at the yellow paper. And I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. The yellow paper. There's no yellow paper. And they're like, oh, that's really important. It's got all the information on it. And I'm like, oh, we didn't get it. And they're like, okay, we're going to send it right down. We'll be there in 10 minutes. I'm like, like how? 10 minutes? Wait a second. Does that mean that they're there is local. A, a local keto sugar-free bakery in the area? Yeah. So Get they my sent purse. us this. They sent us this, this paper along with it. And it comes whenever you order something. It comes with this because not only are they a local bakery, but they ship nationwide. How happy am I right now? Is that awesome? Yes. Okay, so let's go over what they have. So they have basically what this is, is it's a sugar-free, gluten-free, low-carb, and keto sweet treats. Um, I'll leave everything down below. It's lowcarboven.com. It says all treats are two to three net carbs and should be refrigerated or frozen. So when you get them in the mail, mm -hmm. what you're going to do is you're going to either put them in the refrigerator or if you're not going to eat them within a week or two weeks, stick them in the freezer to prolong the freshness. Which you have to do because it's all made with real actual ingredients. Well, we don't know that yet. We haven't taken a look at the ingredients list yet. If you have to refrigerate them. Usually, what that means is good ingredients. Good ingredients and not a bunch of chemicals that could make a Twinkie last for 30 years. Plus, I need to freeze them so that I don't eat them right away. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at what we got. So here's what they have. They have three different types of cookie cakes. They have a peanut butter chocolate chip, a maple pecan, and a chocolate chip walnut. And they sent us one flavor. I don't know what flavor it is. This has to be. It looks like a cookie bar. Yeah. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. Then we have... On here, there's six different bunt cakes, bunt. but uh, one of them they've discontinued. They don't have coconut. That totally reminds me of my Big Fat Creek wedding. Bunt. Bunt. Bunt cake. Bunt. What's, a, what's a bunt? When they put the flower. Yeah, inside oh, of that. Oh, <laughs> it's a cake. Okay, so here's the flavor of the bunt cakes. They're mini bunt cakes, cinnamon spice, triple chocolate, banana nut, lemon poppy seed, and vanilla. Wow. So what, here's what we'll do. Let's put them all on a plate. And we'll show you guys what each one is. So, so that's the cookie This is cake. the cookie bar or cookie cookie bar cake. You want to put these off to the side? Yes. I'm like messing. And then I'll show you guys and we'll put them on a plate. That is plate this. Here. So that's the cookie bar cake. So we'll put that over here. Nice. I got my coffee ready here. to go. Then this is one of the bunt cakes. I don't know what bunt. flavor it is. It's not marked. It's a bunt. Okay, so that's the bunt cake. I'm assuming that's probably vanilla, right? Mm. It doesn't smell like banana. No, it doesn't. Okay. That is beautiful. For like a little party? I feel like we're having a tea party. This is obviously lemon poppy seed. Yeah. Hard to disguise that. I see lots oh, of... Oh, yeah. Mm. Smell that lemon. Beautiful poppy seeds in there. This is... I, I'm assuming chocolate. that this one's chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate. Chocolate. Wow. They're all the same looking, but I'm still showing them to you guys. Is that a happy plate? And then this one obviously is cinnamon. It smells, oh, oh my, my gosh, that goodness. smells incredible. That should be a candle. 
here. Okay. Get the tower over here. And then this one, I'm, I would assume is banana, right? It smells like banana. Yeah. That's banana. Okay. Well, this is exciting. And now I'm going to assume this is either peanut butter chocolate chip or it's the chocolate chip walnut. All right. Okay, so here's our, our happy plate. This is a happy plate. Okay, so we're just going to take a little piece of each one, right? Yeah. Okay. Got to try them all. Cut them all in half. This is just a, this is a scientific thing. Well, now I don't know which one was the vanilla and which one was the banana, so I guess it's going to... We'll keep them all together with their little muffins. Well, my thing is this, is that will be the ultimate thing if I can distinguish it, right? Yeah, does it have enough banana Because the vanilla and the banana look it. very similar to each other. One's more of a golden brown. Do you remember which one is which? I'm assuming this is, I think this is the banana <laughs> from, from looking at it, but I don't know. I'm going to cut it this way so you, we both get the corner cross. Okay, thank you. Yes. What is the best part? Is it the corner or is I it like the, the middle. middle? I like the middle. Sometimes I like the corner. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, where are we going to start? Let's start with the cookie cake because it's very different. Cookie cake. Cookie cake. C is for cookie. Peanut butter. It's chocolate chip peanut butter. Wow. That's good. That is tasty. Now remember, we're going to do the five things review, but we're going to taste everything first. Mmm. That's good. That is good. That is really good. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's a nice thick cookie. Which one first? Cookie. Let's go this one. This one? We'll go uh, clockwise. Clockwise. Like vanilla. That's vanilla. So I'm right. That was banana. Mm-hmm. It's very moist. <laughs> it's moist. Sorry, kids. It is moist. It's very moist. Very moist. I do taste some more with or tall. I don't know if I taste the erythritol or I feel the erythritol. It's got a good mouthfeel, though. It's got a, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not getting a cooling effect, mm -hmm. but I'm getting the granular, the granular erythritol. Wow. But I'm not getting a cooling. Are you getting a cooling effect? Because no. you're sensitive to erythritol. I'm very sensitive to that. So I'm, I'm personally, but I definitely can feel the granular texture of erythritol. Yeah. Which one? Oh, we're going with, we're just going clockwise, right? Clockwise. So this is lemon poppy. Oh wow. Oh yeah. I love lemon poppy. Anything lemon poppy. Wow. Growing up, my favorite dessert that my dad made was lemon meringue pie. Love lemon. Wow. Oh my gosh, the icing. Did you get the icing? I saved it for last. I did that by accident. I did that on purpose. And that was not a bad move on my part. That was delicious. Okay. Chocolate. You're up, chocolate. Boy, these are all of our carbs for today, and these are delicious carbs. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That is a moist cake. Do you know what that reminds me of? That you know what I'm gonna tell you what this reminds me of? The chocolate cake glazed donut from Dunkin' Donuts. Yes! Oh my gosh! Same texture, same flavor. Yes, it is. Wow. Right? Mm hmm Chocolate cake glazed donut. donut, which was my favorite donut from Dunkin' Donuts growing up. I didn't want the regular donuts. Always like cake Unless donuts. I got the stuffed ones with the vanilla cream, which daddy and mommy never let us have because too much sugar. <laughs> they had good sense. We got the we got the cake donuts where they were just glazed with a little bit of glaze. That's what that is. It's got just enough drizzle. Oh, this is cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, these are good. Wow, you're good. That has a really rich, hearty cinnamon taste. Mm-hmm. I'm sad we're on our last one. I know. Here's the good part: we're eating a quarter of each one. So in the end, again, <laughs> we haven't even looked at the nutrition information. You're eating one. In the end, we're eating one and a quarter. And according to nutrition, what his card said, it was two to three net carbs for a whole one. Wow. So, it's not so we're not horrifying. really killing ourselves as much as I felt like I am. I, Taste-wise, I feel like I'm killing my carbs. So this is banana. 
I love banana too. Lemon poppy then banana nut, my favorite. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna cry. Wow. More that is no kidding. There is more banana flavor coming in that than any other keto banana flavoring that I've tasted yet. This is just all banana. This tastes like a like there's banana in it. Well, this tastes like a grandma's banana bread. Like this is just banana all through. That is incredible. Wow. Wow. That is awesome. Man. <laughs> Boy, the kids are going to like eating this because they get the leftovers today, right? They put the, um, the nuts are kind of at the, like at the, the top. Bottom or, or well, the I mean, top. Yeah. because we ate the bottom first because right. I'm thinking the glaze is on the top. So I saved that for last. But right. usually it's almost like you get a vanilla muffin with a bunch of nuts in there to distract you from the fact that there's not enough banana. Yeah. And that is not the case with this. No. They've got a lot of banana in that. So you want to put this through five things? Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Does a keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one. Number one. And all of the nutrition information is on here. And we're also going to take a look at their website. Let's put this off to the side. Let's not. <laughs> okay, so let's start off with the... Well, we'll start off with the cookie cake. Because we started off with the cookie cake. Because we started off with the cookie cake. So we did the, the peanut butter chocolate chip. Mm -hmm. So the ingredients are almond flour, grass-fed butter, sweetener, which is erythritol, oligosaccharides, natural flavors, chocolate chips, which are unsweetened chocolate, erythritol, inulin, stevia extract, organic soy lecithin, vanilla. I like they're breaking it down. Yep. Then you have egg, peanuts, salt, baking powder, which is gluten-free, vanilla extract, which is vanilla bean extracts in water, and alcohol. Salt, xanthan gum, stevia extract powder, and then it says contains milk, eggs, peanuts, and almonds. Good Great ingredients. ingredients. Now, the oligosaccharides is not IMO. It's not isomaltal oligosaccharides. There's saccharides. There's a big difference. Big difference. Okay, so, and it looks like they're pretty much all the same on those other than whatever like there's is. There's maple. Like, so, for example, the maple pecan has maple flavoring. And then it obviously is going to have some, a little bit of cinnamon and it has some pecans. And the walnut one's peanut. probably going to have walnuts in it. And then the other, a walnut one has walnuts in it. So, so that is going to be the difference between all of those. Then we have the mini bunt cakes. Bunt. So we'll start off with, um, we'll go to the vanilla one. Almond flour, egg, grass-fed butter, sweetener, which is erythritol, oligosaccharides, and natural flavors. And then we have chocolate erythritol inulin oh the chocolate chips are chocolate erythritol inulin stevia extract organic soy lecithin vanilla coconut oil baking powder vanilla extract and then it says vanilla bean extractives in water and alcohol salt xanthan gum stevia extract powder i like that they're breaking everything down even I the chocolate chips they're not afraid of their ingredients when you know you have something good yep you're not afraid of it. So the cinnamon spice one, the difference is they have spices, which are cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, allspice, allspice and sulfating agents. It'd be wrong if they didn't. The chocolate chip, the triple chocolate obviously has chocolate in it. One would hope. And well, the coconut one, they're discontinuing, so we don't have to deal with that one. What about banana? Banana nut has... Uh, okay, so the banana nut's a little different. It's almond flour, egg, unsalted, grass-fed butter, sweetener, which is erythritol and oligosaccharides and natural flavors, pecans, chocolate chips, unsweetened chocolate, erythritol, inulin, stevia extract, organic soy lecithin, and vanilla. That's the chocolate chips, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have coconut oil banana extract, which is alcohol, natural flavors, and extractives of banana. Like, that's rare that they're even Very rare. breaking that down. The lemon poppy seed has a lemon extract, which is water, alcohol, and lemon oil, and then poppy seeds. And then it has uh, Hain Pure Foods baking powder. So very clean ingredients. I know that was a little bit long, but we had a lot of products to hit on that Well, one. and I'm very impressed, especially very impressed. with the banana. I didn't know how they were going to swing it. Yeah. So number two. Does it keto based on the nutrition label? Let's check it out. So uh, one of the cookie cakes is one bar is a serving, 200 calories per serving, 19 grams of fat, five grams of protein, 16 total carbs, 
three dietary fiber and 10 sugar alcohol. So three net carbs so on that. That would be three net carbs on that. That's pretty good. Um, for the cakes, one cake is a serving, 220 calories for the cinnamon spice, 22 grams of fat, five grams of protein. You've got 18 total carbs, two fiber and 14 erythritol so you're looking at what two net carbs yeah two net carbs impressive so the triple chocolate 250 calories per serving 25 grams of fat six grams of protein 23 total five fiber 15 alcohols so that would be what Three net carbs. There we go. Three net carbs. And then that's chocolate. Chocolate's usually going to be a little bit higher. Yeah. So banana nut, which is honestly the one I'm the most interested in, just because okay. I haven't tasted one that delicious before, is uh, 240 calories per serving, 24 grams of fat, 6 grams of protein, 19 total carbohydrates, 2 fiber, and 15 sugar alcohol. So two net two carbs. Two net carbs. Nice. The lemon poppy seed, 220 calories, 22 grams of fat, 5 grams of protein, 18 total carbohydrates, two fiber, 14 um, of the erythritol, so another two net carbs. Two net carbs. And finally, the vanilla is 230 calories, 22 grams of fat, five grams of protein, 19 total carbohydrates, two fiber, and 15 erythritol. So again, two net carbs. Wow. So I actually think it has very good macros for a keto dessert. Now, these are not like bars. They're not meal replacements. They're keto desserts. Expect them to be higher in calories and expect them to have a bunch of erythritol in it because it's, it's a, a sweet treat, right? It's yeah. a dessert. What I really like about them is they're not playing the fiber game. They're not because it, they're not starting they're, out with 35 grams of total carbs. They're all very, in fact, the only thing they do have is they have the inulin and the soy lecithin, which is part of the chocolate chips. Right. So they're not playing the fiber game. I love that because I hate seeing products that are super high in fiber and then deducting it and saying like, hey... You know, you've only got three net carbs, but you got 18 grams of fiber in it. Right. And then when you consider that they have much more fat than protein, incredible macros for a keto dessert. Yeah, they're going to help your meal plan. So number three, how did they taste? They taste incredible. I am shocked that that banana nut does not have just like an entire banana like inside of it because it is the most banana-y I have tasted. Okay, so real quick, rank yours. Banana if nut. you're ordering, what are you going to buy most? What are you going to least likely to buy? Okay, so most, I'm going to go with this banana nut. Okay. This is the best banana nut I've tasted in a long time. Okay. The lemon poppy is also incredible. Um, the cinnamon is good, but it's a little bit like a smart cake to me. So, okay. you know, I have a, a good, you know, cinnamon source. Okay. Um, and then the cookie bites, because this is like... Put this together as a cookie cake, stick a candle in it, and that's my birthday cake right there. I know that I've eaten a lot, but we gotta try we gotta try this. Gotta dunk it. Gotta do the dunk. I because that's how I was just thinking I wanna eat it. I'm leaving it for a second because I'm telling you, it can hold up to it. Look at that. It is dense enough to hold up to your morning coffee. Read your newspaper, do the crossword puzzle. Okay. It's got you. For me, I'm gonna go banana nut, lemon poppy seed, then cinnamon. The vanilla and the chocolate are good, but I would probably not buy it because I always want a better flavor, a different type of flavor, not vanilla chocolate kind of thing. You guys know us with our ice creams, right? Yeah. We don't want like normally that like just the plain Jane. I mean, even when I used to go to restaurants and get a dessert, I never wanted chocolate. I never wanted vanilla. I always wanted something different. What else you got? And this is going to be the same. As far as the bars, I think they're really good. I probably wouldn't get them because I find them a little too sweet for me. But That'd be crazy. I've been doing keto for three years. You had salt to keto chow. And I had salt to keto chow because I find keto chow too sweet sometimes. Crazy talk. Just remember, the longer you do keto, a lot of times you start losing that sweet tooth and you find just the smallest thing. I find salt sweet. I mean, I lick on those salt rocks from, from Redmond Real Salt and I'm like, this tastes like sugar to me. So that's just me. Things happen to your palate. But the cakes, oh my God. And again, the cookie bars are good. Just a little too sweet for me. I think this would be precious too for a party for a morning where you just want to feel special. It's so pretty and delicious. It's got the best of both worlds. And I love that it's also, 
you know, gluten-free for folks locally. We have a lot of friends yep. that are, um, have to have gluten-free options, whether they're on keto or not. Yeah. So I think this is a great local bakery that I'm really excited is. Well, let's see how excited. Let's within get Within driving four. distance. So number four, how much do they cost? All right. Okay, Should I brace myself? Well, I don't know. So there's no prices here. We're going to go shoot to the website. Okay. Okay, and okay, so as soon as you get on the website, there are a few things here. It says, please note there is a $24 minimum for all orders. Okay. We charge a flat rate shipping of $10 for two to three day priority U.S. mail. Um, they only offer, obviously, U.S. shipping. Mm -hmm. It says all of them are small batch orders. They're baked every, fresh every Tuesday and Wednesday, and everything is shipped on Wednesday. Okay, so prices... Uh, it looks like the Bundt Cakes Oof. are $12. For four of them. And let me click on it. Yes, uh, $12 for a package size of four. So that's going to be $3, $3 a, a cake. piece. Mm -hmm. I do, I have, I feel like I always have to state this. I hate talking about price when it comes to keto products. I mean, it is part of our five things review. Yes. But remember, you're looking at quality of ingredients. Yes, you can go to the store and buy a cheap little thing for a dollar that's prepackaged sitting on the shelf. Yeah. But it's loaded with chemicals and preservatives and everything else. Even when you go to a non-keto bakery, I remember we used to go and get those little mini, the mini cannolis. Remember yeah. the little tiny ones that are only like that long? They were $2. Yeah. So I feel like $3 for one of these is very good because they're very dense. Very I'm filling. full and we've eaten one and a quarter of them. Right. And I'm pretty satisfied. I don't know I'm, about you. You're I'm, very, I'm hard to fill right. and I feel satisfied. So I don't think it's bad at $3. The bars are $18 for eight of them. So you get an eight pack. An eight for pack 18. for $18. So what does that work out to be? About $2? Yeah. About $2? Is that right? Yeah. About two, two ten, two twenty. Two and change. Two and change. Okay. So that's really good. I think that's, again, I know people are going to be like, it's expensive. Some people can't bake. You can't bake. I cannot bake. So it's a great thing, especially if you're going to an event, you want to have something special. If you want to order something to give to somebody as a gift or something like that, you have to look at what the ingredients are. The bottom line is almond flour, which is what they're made out of. It's crushed almonds. It's not like crushed wheat. That is not cheap. Right. Right. It's not garbage. I do recommend though that if you're going to get them, that you bring a separate container, like a Tupperware or something, so that you can transfer them over out of the package and then bring them to your event so that you can pretend like you made them. <laughs> That's usually my plan. That's kind of dishonest. That's all right. Nobody needs to know. So number five, would we recommend them? I definitely would recommend them, and I am very glad that they are within driving distance. Here's the good thing. I don't know their address. Oh, I'm going to find it. Don't worry. I won't tell you, though. Solo trip. I think they're very good. I would highly recommend them. I love the fact that you're starting to see more and more keto bakeries popping up in communities. I'm seeing it all over the country. People are sending us pictures of it. I know out in Utah, they have like, oh, hello bakery. Mm -hmm. It's just nice to see that more and more little local companies are picking up on giving a keto option, even if they're selling other options as well. But it's, it's nice sometimes to go to a party or have an event maybe a birthday party for somebody and know that you can go to a bakery and get a low carb option. So I like the fact that we can support local companies like low carb oven, as opposed to going out and buying these like Duncan Hines mixes that they're coming up with. Yeah. That they say is keto, but I'm not sure. I just love the fact that it's a small little company. So I absolutely would recommend this. Me so too. we're going to put a link down in the description. We are not affiliated with them at all. Nope. They're just a company that asks us to check them out. And we love the fact that they're a small local bakery. We do. So that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comments section which of these flavors you would order if you're going to order something. Yeah. Is there a muffin flavor that you've been missing? A yeah. bunt. So that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.